Hey guys, this tutorial today is uh, going to be a quick one on how to create humanized sounding hi-hats in Ableton Live. So we've got a drum rack queued up here, and this is what I'm using for all my percussion. We've got a MIDI clip, which is playing a drum pattern. Here's what it sounds like. So you can hear in there, there's a hi-hat pattern. The hi-hat pattern's playing pretty rapid hi-hats, and they're sounding just like a machine gun because they're all just programmed in there at the same velocity and we haven't done anything else to them so when you get the same sound it sounds kinda like the one-handed drummer and that's something that gives away a, a computer synthesized or sampled beat so we're just gonna show using Ableton's simpler instrument within the drum rack how to quickly make a couple changes and edits they're gonna make this sound like a much more human and organic sounding pattern so we found our hi-hat our hi-hats contained in a nested drum rack here and here's our hi-hat sound. Now what we're going to use is the LFO within the simpler instrument. We have to turn the LFO on to activate it here. You can see by default it's set to the rate in being Hertz. I'm just going to decrease the rate a little bit. I want it around 0.8 or so. The waveform that it selects is a sine wave uh, by default and I'm cool with the sine wave so we're going to leave it like that. Then we have a couple of places that we can have the LFO send its modulation signal out to. Basically what I want the LFO to be doing is to be moving the sound of the hi-hat so every hit isn't the same. So we do that by taking the LFO to volume. So I'm going to go add a little bit of the LFO to volume, which means the LFO is going to be moving so that every hit now will be a slightly different volume. We're going to do the same thing with the panning to move it around our stereo field a little bit. I'm going to pan that around, say, just over 20%. And then here's the real kicker. This is the one that is important, is to do it with pitch. So we're going to do it again. We have LFO in our transpose area. We're going to do LFO just relatively, relatively slightly here. And we're going to give ourselves, yeah, 6 7%. I'm going to up the amount of volume to about 35%. Now, I'm going to isolate our hi-hats here by soloing them. And we're just going to do some A-B testing. You can hear, I can make it even more dramatic. You can hear them pitching quite a lot there. Now the important thing here, I didn't figure this out for the first of the while of using Simpler, but there's a parameter that's on by default. It's this little bastard right here called Retrigger. And it's set as on by default. Check out what happens when I do this you can't hear the LFO at all. That one got me for a while until I figured out what retrigger does is every time a MIDI note hits it begins the LFO again. So every time one of these little hi-hats hits it would be beginning the LFO all over again. So if we want the LFO just to move irrespective of when the hi-hats are hitting then we disable retrigger. There we go. I'm gonna rein in my settings a little bit here back to where I had them. Yeah. 7% pitch. Here we go. There's my drum beat. And that sounds a whole lot different than the one I had before with the LFO disabled. So that's on how to create humanized percussion, specifically a hi-hat in Ableton Live 8 and drum racks. Talk to you soon. Cheers.